All right, I'm back here with our chamber five at five. And today I get to start off here uh, with the Bank of Bozeman. I get Hello. to talk to uh, Clinton. So I'd like to welcome Clinton to uh, to the uh, chamber five at five. Well, thank you very much. Glad to be here. Whenever we talk about uh, the chamber and the Bank of Bozeman, uh, we talk about doing things locally here. You guys are local. That's right. We're the the you know the local independent community bank in in uh, Bozeman. So we appreciate uh, all the, that we can do to support this community. Well, and that's the thing that uh, we we talk about a lot whenever uh, we came out to do these and talked about doing the chamber five at five. And one of the great things about doing the chamber mixers is the fact that you get to uh, meet up with your fellow business people. The thing that we keep going back to uh, time after time is about what a, a great community this is and uh, the participation of uh, local businesses helping other local businesses and so that's one of the reasons that we like being able to to talk to you guys and that's something that you're involved with every day yeah no we uh, we try to be active in a lot of different community events and of course uh, school is starting so we've been busy helping a lot of students get set up with their bank accounts, make sure their tuition gets paid, make sure they, they get their lunch money from their parents and all that stuff. So uh, it's it's a busy time for us as school starts and uh, we've raised our uh, CD rate. So it's five and a quarter for six months, 5% for 12 months. Uh, and so it's really, really a solid rate, the one that uh, a lot of people have been taking advantage of. And that you bring up something that uh, I think whenever uh, they hear that I'm, I'm talking to uh, the Bank of Bozeman, it's like, oh, uh, we're going to talk about rates and, and whatever. Well, yeah, there's that. But there is all of the community involvement things that you, that you guys do. There's a lot of things that about the bank that's a lot more than just dollars and cents. Oh, yeah. So it's almost, I mean, we're asked, there's so many nonprofits in town. There's so much going on that we're we're uh, regularly asked to do things so uh this week uh we uh we celebrated with the staff we purchased a pig oh. uh, in the 4-h auction at the county fair uh, from the nash family and uh and so that was processed uh, in amsterdam and we got the meat this week and so we divide that among the entire staff okay that's so what i was going to ask next so that's how pig, you did it we bought the pig so we have every one of the staff uh you know draw lot numbers you know from one to 25 and then we go in order we go do several times several rounds until the whole pig's gone right so people get the pig you got a good want. one right oh yeah it was beautiful pig and uh so lots of bacon lots of sausage lots of pork chops so we do that and then we have people come in from time to time for things like today uh the uh bozeman high dance club came in and said they wanted to you know if we'd support them so we're looking into that so there's there's a lot of groups we support around town there's a lot of, there's so many good charities around town so we'll see you we dancing support. soon is what i'm well, getting out yeah, of this clinton <laughs> they weren't asking for me to contribute to contribute in that oh, way okay all right, it was all just right. financially they yeah. uh, that's they i think they uh, probably appreciate that i'm probably yeah. not <laughs> eligible to support them in that way but uh but yeah there's there's so much good going on in our community and uh, we're happy to be a part of it well and that's another thing whenever you're talking about the good going on in the community uh, uh tell us the good news well you know one of the challenges in bozeman has been affordable housing right yes. and of course we finance a lot of homes but but one of the things we were looking at given the high interest rates is can we do something with uh some other banks and with the city and with the county to uh, help fund uh, affordable housing. And so we're in the process of creating a fund uh, that the city has committed uh, money to, uh, several banks in town have committed money to, we're in the paperwork phase of it, you know, just finalizing the documents. But we're hoping by the end of the year, there will be a fund to support affordable housing projects in the city uh and in the in some of the surrounding communities in the county uh and uh and and that's going going well and so you know banks compete against each other and there's times we were poking each other's eyes oh, but, yeah. but there's times we cooperate too we try to figure out okay this is a generalized community issue and we want to try to figure out how we can help be a part of the solution so uh, right because interest rates are higher yeah uh they're still low historically but uh it is a it is a bit of shock to, to some folks and it's impacting some affordable housing projects they're saying well we can't rent for this rent so we're trying to do our part to help solve the problem you know we talk about you being the bank of bozeman but you, you're serving a whole area it's not just bozeman right. so, so therefore you get involved in other things 
things uh, in addition to just Bozeman itself. Right. Yeah. No, it's it's really the uh, Gallatin County and the surrounding counties. And, you know, you hear about the city and the county kind of, you know, knocking heads. But, they're, but they also cooperate on certain things and affordable housing is one they're on the same you know basically the same page and uh and so i think we're going to get them to work together to help make this happen well i sure appreciate you taking the time uh to to come and talk to us uh when you could be practicing dancing or, or <laughs> yeah. I, I know that there's other you know things. they didn't ask me this for that <laughs> they didn't say hey we'd like to see you yeah. they didn't <laughs> well thank you so much glenn appreciate you taking the time to talk to us and good luck in the future with the bank of bozeman all right thanks a lot mike Come in.